When I was a young man, I used to hunt with my father. I was about maybe eight or nine years old. And I'm at the edge of this uh, little canyon, and I could hear some uh, branches breaking right below. All of a sudden, from behind a big old boulder, there steps this bear. So I started shooting. And I think I was so excited that I wasn't even aiming through the back sight. I was just using the front sight. <laughs> so then I realized what I did. And then I focused on the rear sight as well. And I got that bear and knocked him down. And uh, I think that was the best uh, experience I ever had uh, growing up in White Speak. After I grew up to where I, a uh, point of understanding what was going on, I took measures to protect those public accesses for the public because I love that mountain. We've traversed every inch of this country, every inch of this unit, and have had so many good times up here. And, uh, you know, the memories up here that we've made are, are uh, priceless. I came up here with my dad when he was younger than I am, and we've been coming up here ever since. I have brought my son up, and for sure, you know, I want to bring my grandson up here. It's so important, I think, that we pass on these traditions, as important as keeping this place in public hands. There's a lot of movement in, in Congress right now to sell off, you know, federal public lands. This is state trust land, but it's, it's just as susceptible to getting sold as any other piece of land out there. My advice to the people of the state of New Mexico is to become concerned, protect these public access and public land so that our future generation can enjoy it. Thank you.